Hey guys, Retro Badger here. Welcome to the next episode of the Elite Force 2 walkthrough. Now then, this bit is very tricky, so we need to watch for a pattern and then take your chance and go for it. Otherwise you'll get squished. It may take you quite a few attempts, so I'd highly recommend saving before crossing over here, because it's just... Yeah, it might take you quite a few times. Still got the Ori staff weapon. Oh, that didn't work, did it? Very slow at firing this thing. May as well just get some health as it's only there, isn't it? Made a mess of that, didn't I? Watch out for those, they're an absolute pain. Okay, now let's see what's down here actually. Oh, right. Nope, I don't want to go through there. So if we go up here, um, there should be some hidden arc ammo somewhere. Where are you? It's our first secret. There's some there, but I'm sure there's some in this shaft somewhere. Hang on. Ah, there we go. So, that's a secret apparently. Let's go up. More our camo. Ah, look what's hiding in there. Is there any way of just jumping over the box? Nope. Okay, well, let's move on. That doesn't sound good. Ooh, that's a big one, isn't it? Got it. Okay. Oh, what are you? Hiding in the distance. Yeah, I think I'll just leave that. I can... Oh, wait, no. <laughs> So yeah, the right trigger shoots out some gas, and if you ignite it, it creates an explosion. Oh, what's going on here? Oh dear. Oh, good health. Okay, you're going to need your phaser for this next point. Um, now, it's leaking gas, so if you use your tricorder gas view, you can see there where it's leaking out of. Now, we're going to need to seal it very quickly, otherwise we're going to get gassed. So, just like we did in an earlier level. There we go. It's looking... I'm sure the way you get to that other starship is around here. Let's see... Right, no, don't go in there, it'll trigger the cutscene if you do that. Let's go through. Here it is. And there's our starship. Okay. 
I'm with the Federation. Uh, can you help us? You need medical assistance. I could stabilize you for now. Have you seen any of the aliens around here? I was attacked by one of the aliens while I was trying to get to one of the shuttles. Several Idra were ahead of me, and they might have made it to the shuttles. You can never trust the Idra. They are the Okay. Anything around here? Yes. Um, we jump up here. Jump up here. Yes, there it is. Make sure to get your ammo. This stuff's quite scarce in this game. I've got the feeling I'm missing something. Let's see. Should tell us, hopefully. No, nope, we got it all. Four of four secrets, two of two starships. Okay. Down the lift. There goes that ship. Ooh. Ah. Okay, so we've got a uh, boss fight here from the looks of it. Keep your distance and keep moving sideways. Okay, let's take care of him. Monroe, are you okay? I'm fine, sir. I'm about to investigate the crash site. Stay on the car. Will do, sir. Right. Let's call for the other lift. It's down here. Uh, I think that's where we're going to go in a minute. Hmm, shall I try jumping it? Nah, I probably shouldn't. Shotgun time. Yes, trusty shotgun. If they're in your face like that, it's the best weapon. So obviously it does more damage the closer someone is. Okay, let's find our hidden starships. One in here? No, there isn't. I think it's the next room. Go around the back here. Ah, yes, there we go. <laughs> He's stuck on the pipe. Well, I might as well use the dodgy game mechanics to my advantage. Why not? 
Oh, they explode as well. That's bad. Just making sure there's no more hidden stuff around here. One big complaint about this game was how all of the levels pretty much look the same and you're fighting the same baddies, really. There was not really much variation, which was a shame, really, because the scale of it is definitely bigger than the first Elite Force, but the first Elite Force game was so much better. Whoa, one of those. They are my least favourite enemy in this game. I really don't like them. If they hit you, they take so much health off you. Oh, he sounds angry. Wow, he was tough. Okay, now we, there is a starship around here, and it's in a bit of a, I don't know, a bit of a cheeky place really. With this game, whenever there's a red light above a door, it means that you can't open it. As we know, green means you can go. But this one, if I can find it, is actually behind a red door. So you think, oh well, I can't open it. Well, no, you can. See, red? this one. Yeah, it's a bit of a cheat that really, isn't it? It's not where you would expect to look. Whoa! It's almost worse than my parking, Sydney, that. scan for life signs around the Idril shuttle crash site. Scanning now, sir. I'm not reading anything, sir. Either they're dead or they've left the area. Okay. There's nothing more we can do here. One to beam up. Remember where we parked. I want a full scan of the area. I've located some Atrexians in a small communications tower. Patch me through. You're on. Inigor, are you there? Yes. Thank you for helping these people. Inigor, what's going on? Crindor lied to me. I helped him restart the facility, but only after he promised never to use it for war. But he lied to me. I tried to stop him, but then it was too late. He told me to leave the system. But I stayed and came here to help the Atrexians. Crindor's willing to kill you? He doesn't know I'm here. I can't get through to him. Where is he now? I'll send you the coordinates, but please, don't hurt him. No promises. <laughs> He'll be safe only if you can get him to stop before we invade. I understand. But if he won't stop, you'll have to destroy the facility. Monroe to Enterprise. We have the coordinates to Crindo. The Enterprise isn't going anywhere yet. Take the shuttle while we continue repairs. We're sending additional teams to the colony to assist the Atrexians. Okay, so it looks like we're on another mission, straight away. Okay, mission complete. Shots fired, 10,262. Wow. Idril Planet, mission 8. Ooh, another brown planet. How exciting. I'm glad you don't serve lunch on these flights, Sydney. I can't help it. It's an electrical storm. We're hit. Controls aren't responding. Prepare for crash landing. 
It is a good day to die. Not that good a day. All set. I'm beginning to wonder if the dark fogginess was a graphical limitation at the time. Who's injured? It takes a lot more than that to injure a Klingon. <laughs> I'm fine too. Sydney? Sydney! Hmm. We need to get her out of here. Gerard to Enterprise. Medical emergency. Enterprise! Must be interference from the electrical storm. Guess we won't be taking the shuttle back. Gerard, do what you can for Sydney. Chang, I want you to go ahead and get the communication systems online. Contact the Enterprise and notify them of our condition. Corban, stay here and protect the shuttle. I'm gonna go find Crindo. Why do you always go off alone? The leaders should never take point. Thanks. See you soon. <laughs> Great, well thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye for now.